Item number SCP-3689, Object Class Keter, Special Containment Procedures. A copy of SCP-3689's recipe is stored in a restricted document locker. Foundation bot Iodine is to monitor food blogs and cooking sites for keywords matching SCP-3689 ingredients. Foundation elements embedded in national government are to ensure the passing and strict enforcement of anti-whaling laws. Violators are to be investigated for knowledge of SCP-3689. Description SCP-3689 is a formerly hypothetical sandwich defined by the Infohazardous Recipe, universally dubbed the Kraken's Belly for those who conceive it. SCP-3689's recipe consists of an abnormal list of ingredients and a detailed specific method of preparation. If a person learns the entire process and is able to visualize making SCP-3689, they will become subject to SCP-3689's effect. Due to human curiosity and imagination, as well as common seafood colony methods, SCP-3689's recipe has been recreated in a person's mind by knowing as few as 15 of the ingredients and 5 steps of the preparations. SCP-3689 ingredients deemed unlikely by Razor and the Colony Department to lead a full conceptualization include Lemon Fresh whale, barbecue sauce, white chocolate chips, imitation crab, bacteria, any, gold, wood shavings from a boat that sailed through a storm. Subjects aware of SCP-3689 experienced a sensation of severe hunger and thirst, stomach pains, and lose the ability to taste or smell. These people are convinced that the only way to alleviate these symptoms is to prepare SCP-3689 and eat it. Amnestation of affected subject is ineffective, requiring dangerously high doses to remove memory of all ingredients. Otherwise, subjects frequently reimagine SCP-3689 by idly, by idly extrapolating. Due to the rarity of several ingredients, most attempts to create SCP-3689 end in a subject either attempting to finish the sandwich using substitutes or giving up entirely. If an imperfect sandwich is created and eaten, SCP-3689 symptoms usually subside over 2-4 to four days. SCP-3689 was discovered following the suicide of a disgraced chef during investigation and cataloging of his anomalous possessions. SCP-3689's recipe was fragmented and written into various cookbooks and journals. Addendum SCP Testing Notes D-Class allowed to create and consume SCP-3689 in preliminary testing report no extraordinary quality to the sandwich and the manifest While the room they are in floods, subjects we manifest between 30 minutes and 6 hours later. Accompanied by the room flooding again, and have little to no memory of the experience beyond vague recollections of a ship and captain. In a later test, D-11424 prepared and consumed the sandwich with slight difficulty due to the unworthiness of the squid tentacles, and reported sandwich to taste okay but still missing something. The kitchen immediately flooded with seawater, and D-11424 vanished. Limited footage later recovered from D-11424's body camera showed him swimming in an ocean before being lifted onto a passing wooden sailing ship and greeted by an indistinct figure dressed as a 16th century pirate shortly before the camera was damaged in a sword fight. The kitchen flooded again approximately seven hours later, and D-11424 re-manifested in a small rowboat filled with gold coins, various fish, an ornate cutlass, and a decorated three-cornered hat. He reported vague memories of challenging the Kraken alongside the captain, as well as consuming part of said Kraken by adding it to a new SCP-3689 sandwich, which appeared to have significantly enhanced the flavor. D-11424 additionally requested and was granted permission to keep the hat.